If you want to know how to create this golden batch step by step, check this video. So let's start selecting first the ellipse tool, pressing and holding shift to constrain proportions. Now we have it yellow, we have to create something that looks golden. So I'm going to do it from scratch. I'm going to select the fill tool, click on it. I'm going to drag and now I'm going to move this here because this is going to get in my way at some point. So we have here the slider. I'm going to select this one, which corresponds to this one. And I'm going to just make something that looks golden. Doesn't have to be exactly the same as this one. So, well, up to you to select your gold, golden colors, wherever you prefer. Um, something like mm, this. Yeah, I think it works. I'm going to move it again. Okay, so we have this part in here. Maybe I tweak the colors later on. I'll see. Now, the next thing, because what I want you here to understand is not about colors. I mean, this is something not really that important here now. Of course it is, but not so much as these things, these little actions I'm going to show you. So, for example, now, Command C, Command V. As you can see in here, we duplicated this ellipse. Now, I am going to pull, but first I'm going to press and hold Command and Shift. So, as you can see, it's going to grow from the center outwards. So now we have these two. Now you cannot see it because they are exactly the same color. But if I first off put this one below, because this is going to be the first one, which is going to be this one. And this one here is going to be this one outside. Now I move it like so, for example, and now you can see that we have both of them with the centers aligned, but one is bigger than the other. Okay. So what I did is flipping it. I flipped it here. Okay. Now I want to give it this kind of like a shadow. So this corresponds to this one. I'm going to go to the effects and I'm going to say inner glow. Now I'm going to give it a radius. And as you can see, because it's white, it's showing it here as white, but I don't want that. I want it darker. So I'm going to come here, something in the gold area. And I'm going to go to dark. See, you cannot really appreciate it here. So what I would recommend is coming here to the cog layer effects. And by clicking on it, you're going to see this dialog. If you have it on a screen, this is what happens. You're not going to really see it. So go back to normal, close it. And now you can appreciate the color you applied. See, now you can see it better. Okay, so I'm going to reduce the opacity a bit and we're good to go. Now I put here this other color. I mean, there's many ways to create it, but I think the best one would be just by overlaying this rectangle. I'm going to give it, um, yeah, I'm going to give it a darker color on this side here, something like this. It could be also a solid color. And now coming back to layers, I'm going to nest it inside the ellipse like so. OK. Good. Mm, I don't like the transition here. So what I'm going to do is coming back to my gradient tool. I'm going to move it a little bit like this. Something like this should work better. OK, as you can see, it's not exactly the same, but as I said, that's not the most important thing. Now we're going to go with this area here, which is very cool and very interesting to learn how to create it. So I'm going to pick one of these pieces here. So you see exactly the shape of it and I'm going to recreate it. If you just wonder why, how I came out with something like this, I just look around. I see what other people do and I just recreate it. If I like it, and I tweak it if I think it needs some tweaking. But <laughs> the best way to do things is just looking around and, and just, you know, checking a bit what others have done. Oopa, I did it bad. So I click here. I select this one. I want to make it darker, something like this. 
and I want to give it a lighter edge here so well there are several ways to do it in this case I did it um, inside the gradient it itself as you can see here this corresponds to this area here I'm gonna make it whiter so you can see exactly what I mean okay or I can just go and say copy paste I have two of them now okay I'm gonna make it a bit bigger a bit bigger and I can just now for example I mean I'm just thinking improvising because there are so many ways of working things I subtract it come in here bang and now I can just nest it inside like so and give it um, some lighter color something like this and for example I could just come here now and say um Gaussian blur something like this bang okay well I think it's too light okay so we have our shiny edge in place something like this good now I need this triangle here which I'm going to create for example with this I'm going to move the angle uh-huh something like this okay good now I'm gonna give it a solid color um, I'm gonna take this one with a color picker and I'm gonna make it even darker and I'm gonna put it below there yeah now I group it the whole thing bang have it there and I'm gonna come to my batch and this is where the fun begins so as you can see here this goes all over the medal the golden medal and I want to make this in a way that is fast and accurate and you know without you know breaking my head so basically what I want to do is selecting the inner circle the first one we traced and you see here the center of it if you don't see it just come up here and select the enable transform origin just click on it see if I unclick it it disappears and now I'm gonna come to the rollers and by dragging I'm gonna look for the center I don't know why it disappears maybe I don't know There's something wrong anyways here is the center like this okay now we have these guides in there in place I take this I'm gonna place it right in the middle for the time being on top of the whole thing doesn't really matter so I'll put it like this and I'm gonna take the center of this little piece in here and I'm gonna also put it in the center point coinciding with the other one now I'm going to duplicate this one by clicking command J okay this is the smart copy plus so I have it now here and what I'm going to be doing now is simply moving it with the angle handle this one in here just like so okay and now the next step is just clicking like crazy command J so the smart copy does all the work da, 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 da. there's a small gap in here well I can just fix it later on when I put these ribbons or whatever or I just can fix it manually but the important thing here is that you see how to create this I'm gonna group the whole thing like this I'm gonna command now I have it here and what I want to do is just dragging it here below the middle bah. like this so now I'm going to get rid of the guides okay and I'm going to look at it very nice maybe I want to put like I have in here I put a, a bit of a glow or something like that just to make it nicer plus and like so and again I'm on a screen so normal much better I'm gonna put the opacity down yeah it looks better like this okay now we are going to go with the ribbons very easy to create let's just come here do a rectangle something like this I'm gonna make them a bit smaller 
yeah, like so. Gradient tool, gonna drag like this. Now, if I want it to go like there is a little bit of a wavy look to it, I have to play with the gradients. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna come here. I'm going to well just look that because I moved it here and now it's um, reversed. So I have to work from this side just to add. I can also add it here. New color. I'm gonna make it a bit lighter. And no, like yeah, like this. Now I'm going to put this one darker. I mean that is up to me how many of them I want to add. Uh, something like this. Let's see. I think I want to make it this one a bit darker and this one a bit lighter. Like this. Or something like this. I think it works. This is way too light. I'm gonna tweak it. Yeah, much better like this. Now I press A on my keyboard and I'm going to convert this to course so I can add a node like so. And I pull up like so. I'm now pressing shift so it just doesn't move. Something like this. Now I'm going to add these golden um, stripes. Uh, like this, I'm gonna give it some different color. Um, let's just do something like this. I mean, I can also put some gradients to them. I think I'm gonna copy it from here. So, for consistency <laughs> reasons, I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna click Shift to constrain, to constrain, put it here. Now I select both of them, I come to layers, by grouping them, I insert them with a clipping mask. Perfect. So now I have it. Now again, I'm going to give it a bit of an angle like this. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to flip it, constraining with shift. I'm going to move it like so. I select both of them. I'm going to group them and I'm going to pass them right below my batch. Now, as you can see in here, the gap is showing and I don't like that. So a quick fix would be something like this. You really can not tell. Now, the only thing left is the writing on it. You can choose to put whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to write a number one because, you know, to make it different, something like this. I'm going to give it a color that is consistent with the rest of the golden palettes in this batch. I'm gonna duplicate it. You can see now we have two and I'm gonna move the one on top a little bit to the left and a little bit up. And the one below, now I think it needs to be much lighter. So it gives for, um, you know, the feeling that it's engraved in there. I'm going to group them. I think I'm going to make it a little bit, sorry, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And so we are basically done. Now you can tweak your things. Like for example, I'm not completely happy with how this is um, showing. I would tweak a bit the color so it shows a little bit more of the lighter red in there because I like it. I'm going to get rid of this one and I'm going to duplicate this one, flip it put it there and perfect. So that is it. Uh, as you can see, it's a matter of knowing some actions, some little tricks, quite easy. Now, mm, you know, repeat it if you want, show it to me, ask me whatever you need and you know, I like my videos and all the usual bullshit. <laughs> See you in the next video.